wondering about style and beauty. So I had to talk with Melanie Ferrara. She is a fashion designer. You know, I'm, I'm going to the city. I'm about to have a big day. I'm out and about. Who gets to decide what's acceptable in fashion? Hmm. I think different people would have different ideas about who gets to decide. So people might say that um, advertisers get to decide, so the people that take out ads in magazines, that kind of thing. Um, some people might say that uh, designers get to decide because they decide what they put on models and it goes down the runway. But really, uh, we get to decide what goes on our bodies. So, um, you know, people can express their opinions and maybe try to steer, steer us in one direction or another. But the choice is ours. What does it mean to have style? Mm, I think it means that um, you have your own distinct way of doing things that is just you. So like style is how you, it's it, how you express yourself? How you express yourself, exactly. Can anyone be stylish or have style or is it you have to like train or something? <laughs> I think that anyone can have style, but I think it's like any other skill where if you are interested, if you want to learn, then you can have style. And just like any other skill too, um, some people are better at it than others. What makes some clothing more beautiful than others? Mm. I mean, in a way, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So what you might find beautiful, someone else might not. But as well, there are a lot of things to appreciate about uh, clothes in um, a technical and a tactile sense. So how they feel, um, some of the fabrics and finishes, the detail. So I find um, bumblebees beautiful, but some someone I know does hates them and, and is kind of scared of them. So yeah. yeah, yeah, fashion is totally like that because maybe some people love a certain color. Um, like I actually really like yellow. Um, I don't wear it a lot, um, but I really like yellow. Other people might hate yellow. What about like some favorite pieces of clothing? Like if you think about your absolute favorite thing to wear, what would it be? Probably a t-shirt. Probably a t-shirt, why? I don't know, because they're easy to put on and I have like five million of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's easy. Maybe you feel more comfortable in it. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about this jacket for a minute. It's hot and I, it's unnecessary. But I like it, kind of. Mm. I mean, the interesting thing about this jacket is it says something really different than your t-shirt says, right? Mm -hmm. Jacket sort of says business, serious, buttoned down. But a t-shirt sort of says fun, carefree, ready for anything. So it's both. <laughs> so you're a little bit of both today. Yeah. Yeah. How do you know if you've made something beautiful? Like, for instance, I might make a drawing and and I want to know how 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 I can get people get to know if, if people think it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, with the drawing, it's sort of like there's how you feel about it and how other people feel about it. So, I guess you have to decide what's important to you. You know, are you happy with you just liking your drawing? Is that is that okay? Is that enough? Or do you need other people to like it? Maybe is it for someone else? Is it is it a gift? Is it meant to be on display? So it kind of depends on um, what you intend to do with it, who it's for, but it's very personal. It's very personal. How is clothing design similar to other arts? It's similar in that you can explore uh, ideas that are really complex or really simple. Um, you know, there are some designers out there, I don't know if you've ever seen any high fashion runway type shows, even on TV. Uh, you might see clothing that you think, who would wear that? but maybe it's not intended to be worn. Uh, it might just be intended to be appreciated um, on its own for uh, what it says about shape and form or commentary you know, uh, regarding anything social or political. What makes fashion design different from other arts? Like, not similar, different. Yeah, um, I guess what makes it really different from other art forms is that everyone wears clothes every day. So we don't always look at paintings every day or um, you know, go to the museum every day, but we all get dressed. Um, so you know, really, we're all very involved with fashion and um, that type of expression uh, versus other types of art. 
Is fashion just about people's opinions, or does it rely on everyone? Hmm. Um, yeah, fashion is really layered because um, you know we do express our opinions through fashion in what we choose to wear. So um, you know, really, there are generally a set number of choices that are acceptable to make and that are sort of expected. You were to wear a bathing suit on your first day of school. That would be really unusual, right? That'd I would be, never do that. You would never do that, because it would be really unexpected and socially unacceptable. And you would probably get in trouble. That might also happen as well. I will never do that. <laughs> when you design something, are you trying to send a message or tell people something? I think I want to promote a general sense of acceptance. So um, I would like clothes to impart some uh, feelings of confidence and empowerment. I feel that way too, mm -hmm. especially when I wear my favorite dabbing donut t-shirt. Well, yeah, that's your favorite t-shirt. It's a donut doing this. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> so. You know, I think that clothing has an amazing power to make us feel really happy and to like transform how we feel, right? That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you can read my mind. <laughs> mind and it's blown. And you know, one cool thing that's happening right now, um, talking about, you know, empowerment and feeling really good, is I feel like there is um, sort of an equalization happening, more of like a, a turn towards uh, unisex things or an acceptance that men and women can wear the same thing. And I think that's something really wonderful that says to people, um, you know, who you are is okay. Uh, you can be confident and happy and, um, and that's something that's accepted. <laughs> If you've been wondering too, subscribe for more big questions.